if you make a data variable, you can have it write out, but this is very limited. For example, you can only have one font and it has to be white on an orange background. Uh, today, I'm showing you how to get that number and then use a sprite to write it out uh, with whatever colors or font you want. Make the digits. Go to these coordinates because this place seems like uh, round about the right place. And we're going to change x by negative 30 and create a clone. Now what we're doing is we're creating 10 digits in a row and these are all clones. And then we're going to hide the sprite. We're going to make them show the number that's written here. Okay, when I start as a clone, if my x value is equal to 156, which is the x value of the rightmost zero, switch the costume to the modulo function, a mod 10. This will just give us the last digit of the number. Put number in there. So for all the costumes, so that the costumes are showing, it's a nine. That's because we're telling it to switch to costume number zero. And this zero is actually costume number one. So we can fix that pretty easily by just saying plus one. If we set the number to five, then it'll say five there. If we set it to 27, It'll say seven. We want to kind of do this for all of these. So we probably want a general formula. Say negative 156 minus the x position. This is going to give us um, zero for negative 156. Uh, if we divide it by 30, then this will give us the digit number. So each of these digits is 10 times more than the one before it. Like, this one is worth 10 times more than this one. Um, so we want, so in order to find the value of the digit, we can do 10 to the power of, which basically does 10 times 10 times 10 for that number of times. Divide the number by that, just up to that digit, and the rest is after the decimal point. And then we can get rid of the decimal point with a floor function, uh, then, we mod 10 and add 1. If we set this number to like 143, it'll say 143. And if we put this in a forever loop, then even if the number is like constantly changing, like maybe we change the number by 1, then it'll just keep updating like that. Also, if you want more or less digits than this, you can change this repeat number. So if you only want seven digits, you can repeat seven. If you want to change the position of the rightmost digit, uh, you can change it using these coordinates. But if you change this coordinate, you'll also have to change it here. And if you want them to be closer or further apart, you can change this. But if you change it to anything else, you also have to change it here. For example, uh, if I wanted a smaller thing in maybe the top right corner uh, to make it smaller, I would set the size to maybe 50%. I would go to Y 120-ish, uh, maybe X 170. Remember, I changed X to 170 here. So in this formula here, we need to change it to 170 and change x by negative 15. Since this is 15 instead of 30 now, I need to change this to 15. And now you can see that it's the same as before, but smaller in the corner. Uh, so yeah, I hope this helped you making your digital displays. Uh, thank you for watching to the end, and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.